Are you wondering what clothes to buy in the summer? Do you want to up your style? Well, don't worry, because in today's video, I'm going to be talking about loads of different brands and styles for you to be decked out in for summer 2024. Or any summer, really, because these styles have been sticking around for years now. So I'm going to start from top to bottom. Let's talk about lightweight jackets. I have two, and in my opinion, they're quite out there. One is a Cineworld full shell tracksuit, and one is a PSG jacket. I'll leave a link to the Cineworld tracksuit review at the end of this video. They are both made of a similar nylon material, which is good because as long as it's not 30 degrees, it'll keep me cool, especially in temperatures like 20 degrees. It's something for those days when you go out in just your t-shirt, but it's a little bit too cold. Hang on, I forgot about hats. If I'm going from top to bottom, then I should have said these first. I'm so dumb. So hats is going to be what I'm talking about now. In my opinion, I think bucket hats look a lot better than caps, especially the fisherman style ones. So the number one hat I'm going to recommend for you guys to try and cop this summer is the Cortese fisherman bucket hat. There's a couple of colors which Cortese have put out and they've also put out a few different designs of the bucket hat. I mean, bucket hats are more practical anyway, because they protect the of your head and your neck, whereas caps don't. That is one of the main reasons as to why I prefer them. Nike do nice fisherman bucket hats as well as their Jordan brand. I've just actually copped a Cortese bucket hat. I don't know what I haven't put it on. Look at it, it's pretty cold if you ask me. And it surprisingly, in my opinion, doesn't actually look too bad on me. I have some triple black Cortese cargoes, and funnily enough, this is the triple black fisherman hat. I found it on Depop for around £30, so I bought it instantly. I mean, it's an absolute steal, seeing as how on GOAT it sells for around £80 to £60. Now let's talk about t-shirts. <laughs> Because this is obviously going to be the item of clothing you're going to be wearing the most on top of your on top of your chest. In last year's video, I mentioned wearing a plain black or white t-shirt. This is as it will till we're flying around in spaceships, the most easy and basic thing to style in the summer. It's boring, but with a tan and some white crepes and some gray shorts, I mean, what, what can go wrong? One thing I do want to mention this year though, that I think might actually come into style and I prefer it. Plain t-shirts or any t-shirts which you wear with shorts look so much better when they are tight to you. Maybe I look terrible styling this, but it just is a better look than say a baggier t-shirt. But if you want some branded t-shirts, then here are some I recommend. Nike, Cortese, Comme de Garçon, Montclair, Bape, and Stussy. A few expensive brands in there, I know. There are a few other brands as well, but if you genuinely want style for summer 2024, then go with those brands I just mentioned. Now, I've recently picked up a pink Nike gym t-shirt, which just goes too hard. I bought it at JD Sports online, and I believe they are still selling them online and in store. And they are eligible for discounts, which is great. However, they keep selling out of sizes and bringing them back, so people are actually reselling them on apps like Depop. And for ridiculous profit margins as well, for a gym t-shirt, like what? A lot of people are selling the Milers for 40 to 50 pound. I'm glad I got mine on literally the first week when it re-released because who knows when JD are going to stop the stock on these. I let all my guys on Instagram know as soon as they came in stock, so make sure you're following me on my Instagram, BTS Clovia, for updates on streetwear. Guys, as of recording, Nike have just put some of the sizes of the pink Miler on their website, so if you really want to cop, hurry up and get on there! It's kind of annoying because I would have saved a couple of quid if I had ordered on Nike because on JD it's actually more expensive. Now, I also want to mention a new style that is going to be coming into my wardrobe this summer. Summer shirts, button-down shirts, whatever you want to call them. I got my first ever one last year. How mad is that? I know that sounds crazy, but I've never been into that sort of style. Me in the summer is usually branded t-shirts and shorts, but this year I want to get some crazy button-down shirts. Sanucci had a good summer line last year. I unfortunately didn't cop anything though. I also went into a Hollister shop literally the other day and there were some really nice button-down shirts in there as well. I mean, there's literally endless of designs going for button-down tees, guys so I think you'll have no problem in finding one that you'll like. I mean, finding one or two that you really like, to be honest. Now let's talk about what shorts to wear for the summer, but before we do that, guys, make sure to hit the subscribe button. I upload weekly streetwear content, so if you want to see more content like this, then make sure to hit the subscribe button with post notifications turned on. And like the video whilst you're at it, it's all free and it really helps me out. So the shorts I wore a lot last summer, and it's not going to change this year, are Nike Tech Fleece shorts. The zip pockets on the Tech Fleece shorts are so useful. These are actually the V-season shorts, which I don't believe you can buy anymore. Now on Nike, you can only buy the new season, which has one less pocket, but hey, it's got the zip pocket, which I guess is the main attraction for Nike Tech Fleece bottoms. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to be rocking my triple black Cortez cargo shorts this summer as well. You can actually get some steals at the minute, guys, on reselling platforms for Cortez pieces. One of my friends literally just bought some full-length cargoes £35 off Depop. I mean, that's mad. Considering the retail would have been £70 to £80. And I mean, just scrolling here, I found a pair of £55 pair of shorts. You'll say at least £20 there. I don't even know if Clint's going to restock these again because I'm pretty sure the whole point of the mystery drop which he recently just did was to get rid of all the old stock. So I'd grab them quick before they eventually go up in price 
if my theory is correct. And guys, if you order something from someone on Depop and when it arrives, it's not as what it described or what it looks like at all, make sure to fill out the refund form ASAP because Depop, in my experience, have been really good with giving me refunds for, well, not as they're described. I talked earlier about button down tees. Ultimately, Nike Tech Fleece shorts and Cortese cargo shorts. Don't really go with that style, but it does depend. If I wore an all black button down shirt with my Cortese cargos, then that would look fine. But I'd say with button down shirts, if you can find some muted toned shorts, and I'll have pictures on screen right now of what I mean, these sort of pastel colored shorts, then in my opinion, they would go with button down shirts really well. I talked about sports shirts earlier on. Well, sports shorts are going to be in my wardrobe a lot this summer. I've got some Jordan ones, and as you can see here, I've got a full outfit which is all color coordinated, and I only usually wear the shorts with that full outfit. I received some Brazil shorts not too long ago which are really nice one of them even has zip pockets which if you know me you know how much i love zip pockets and yeah these are all from the nike website i can't recommend these enough they're very breathable and great quality guys i completely forgot about swimming shorts so i'll just list a few brands that i recommend as i think you're going to be finding yourself wearing them at some point this summer and they're also great for just general wear of a normal t-shirt due to how hot it gets in the summer so nike ralph lauren billionaire boys club with the running dog and burberry four very different price ranges just there, so I guess there's something for everyone. I'm actually looking to pick up from some of these brands this summer. Not Burberry and BBC though. But actually, if you've seen last year's summer drip video, you'll know that I actually have a lot of MS and JD Sports shorts. So this year I am going to look to go to that Nike and Ralph Lauren level to upgrade the drip game for the swimming shorts this summer. But my point still stands that I made last year is that when sometimes in some swimming pools there's really bad chlorine that can affect the colour of your swimming shorts and in the sea. There's just loads of random stuff floating about that can ruin the swimming shorts. So actually, I might just stick with my M&S ones. Now, this is the part where everyone's going to leave the video. I'm going to be talking about socks. It'll only be a few seconds. Trust me, guys. So obviously, everyone wears Nike socks in the summer. But if you want to wear different branded ones, then Cineworld, Cortese, and the other Nike branded socks are the best, in my opinion. What I mean by other Nike branded socks is the ones on screen right now. Not just the basic ones that everyone and their dog owns. White socks, in my opinion, is the only way you can really go in the summer. Also looks the best with a tan. Let's swiftly move on to shoes. I made a tier list video last week on the best Nike shoes you can buy for 2024, so I'll leave a link to that video at the end of this one, which will be in just a minute, so hang on. But yeah, I won't ruin that video for you in this video, so you'll just have to watch that video to find out what my recommendations are. Anyway, the only other sneaker I would recommend for summer 2024 is the Yeezy 350 V2s. They have proved to be a timeless shoe, and in the past year or so, they are being restocked. So if you guys are looking to get a pair, I'd recommend getting them now, because I think they're reasonable prices compared to what they were back in the day. In my my opinion, I've always loved the designs on them. I actually don't know why I've never picked a pair up. Maybe summer 2024 is the year I get a pair. But obviously, the second main thing that most people are going to be wearing on their feet are slides. Nike, Jordan Brand, and Yeezy are probably the go-to sliders. I'm 100% going to buy a new pair of slides this summer, as mine at the minute are battered. I think I'm going to go for the Nike Calm slides. They came out, I believe, in the last two years. They may have even come out as recently as last year. But they're more affordable than Yeezy slides and look similar, so I am going to be going for the Nike Calm slides this year. But but yeah, the Nike Calm slides and the Yeezy slides are what you're going to be seeing a lot of this summer. Watch the Cineworld review I was talking about earlier. If not, then here's the Nike shoe tier list video I was just talking about. <laughs> 